good afternoon. My name's Anna Kate, and today we're gonna go on a tour of the Maple Hill community. Um, so that includes Maple Hill South, Maple Hill East, and then Maple Hill West. Um, so a couple points of reference for where we are on campus. Um, to my right is the um, Eleanor Mann School of Nursing building. And then um, to my left is Clark, or Clark Hall, um, which is part of the quad. Um, and quad is where the closest dining hall is, so that's called Fulbright, um, so all your meals and things will be that way. Um, and then we also have a meal trade option that lives in Maple South called Maple Grill. Um, it's right under the arches. Um, but yeah, with that, we'll go inside and get started. Behind our camera, we have Emily, who is a marketing intern for housing. Um, say hi, Emily. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily, and feel free to Tell us where you're tuning in from and ask any questions that you have. All right, let's go inside. Now, did you ever go to the Maple Hill Grill? Um, I did. So my freshman year, it actually wasn't Maple Grill. It was another um, little restaurant. But I did eat here quite often because I lived in Hawks, um, so it was very convenient. Um, what kind of food? Um, it's like burgers and chicken and salads and fries, so kind of like typical grill food, I would say. Okay. Okay, so really quick, we're going to introduce, let the three charities for the Maples introduce themselves, so I'll hand it over to them. Yeah. Hello, I'm Leslie Parker. I am over at Maple Hill West. It's nice to see you all. Yeah. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Popwich, and I'm over in Maple Hill East. I'm Kaylee Ann Weber, and I'm here in Maple South. Excited to see y'all. Alright, so they'll kind of be helping me with the tour today. They'll just be around to help answer questions and kind of do their little thing on the tour. Um, so right as you walk in Maples, we have the front desk, which is right over here. This is the Maple South front desk. Um, so that's where you'll get like mail if you're in Maple South, um, any packages. Um, all the mailboxes are kind of out here too. Um, so if you get like letter mail, that'll be out here, but packages and everything will be um, at the front desk, which will be staffed by an RA after hours and a desk admin during the day. Um, Do you know how many people live in the Maples? Um, so in South, um, there are around 357 residents. Um, east is 346 residents, and West is 376 residents. I think this is our biggest combined community. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so with that, we'll kind of head into this space. Um, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, this is kind of like a little community space that has um, couches and you know tables and just kind of a place to hang out um, for residents of Maple South. Um, so this is a pretty cool feature that South has. Um, and do you know how to open your mailbox when you have to? Um, yeah, so on Because there's a trick the, to it, right? Well, on all of the mailboxes, there are instructions on top um, that'll tell you how to open mailboxes. Um, there is a little trick to it, so sometimes students struggle with it, but if there's someone at the front desk, they'll be more than willing to help you with that if you're struggling. Um, but yeah, with that, I think we're heading to East. Yeah, yeah we'll head on out and uh, go see the green, beautiful space between the halls. Um, so a little bit about me, I will be a senior this year. Um, I am a history and French double major, and I'm from Fort Smith, Arkansas. So feel free, like Emily said, to drop where you're from in the chat. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And how long um, have you been an uh, RA? Um, so yes, I'm a resident assistant. Um, this will be my third year as an RA, um, and this year I'll be a, a senior RA in Pomfret. Uh, we have a question. Someone yes. asks, can you please show a loft room, plan K, if possible? We are, we are going we are gonna to show one. Yes. Okay. We're going to show a loft, and we're also going to show, uh, is, what? H. H, and then a loft, which I think is a K. So. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now, under these arches, we're kind of heading into Maple East. Um, we'll go to that front desk. But first, I just want to point out this kind of, um, community like garden space. Um, there's a big green area, benches, trees, picnic tables. Um, there's like a little patio area which is super nice so it's very good like entertaining and kind of community space 
Um, that's kind of unique to the maple, so that's pretty Do you cool. do programming after? Well, yeah, it's only well. Like, yeah. what, what would be some examples? Well, well, yeah. yeah. So, uh, we always did lots of programming. Some of the things we did were like kickboxing. Uh, we usually do like some little girl out programs. Uh, and then uh, one of the newest ones we did last year was kind of the lights at Maples right around, uh, it starts usually the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, but it's super awesome, great for the gram, Snapchat, you know, really stoned on people who aren't living here. Uh, but of course it's open to all of campus, but it's a really beautiful scene. Uh, it stays open for two weeks, but uh, it's a really uh, highly utilized space. Uh, we've got fire pits, we've got grills, things like that that students can use, uh, and we'll kind of teach you how to use it uh, before you get started, because, you know, we like to build it, so you don't want to go up in flames. So. Good. Right inside, looks like we have a few questions. Um, someone asked, is it easy to loft the beds, Mabel West specific? Yes, I de-lofted and lofted like 150 beds myself. Uh, our <laughs> bed frames are pretty light. Uh, we have a safety bar that's on top of each bed, but it's pretty, pretty easy to just pop that out. And then especially if you've got help, like one other person with you, you can easily, whether you have a mallet or not, pop them out of their little uh, pins and de-loft them or loft them. Uh, I would definitely recommend you at least have one other person to, to help you so that they can hold up the frame in the middle while you line up the posts on each side uh, to lock it in. But they're, they're pretty easy to de-loft and loft. Uh, Meredith asks, is there H style in all of Maple South? We have one in Maple South. Okay. Well, we're looking at an H in yeah. Maple East, but I believe there's Maple, there's H's in South as well. There should be, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, what I'll say, I know there are different types online. Uh, the general room, there, there are slight differences, but the general room in Maple Hill is kind of what you're going to see, the first room we're going to show you, where you walk into a living room, or to the left, most times, maybe sometimes to the right, there's the little um, kind of sink with the cabinets and then the bathroom right next to that, and then there's the two bedrooms. Most of the bedrooms have the windows right dead in the center with a bed lined up on each side. So uh, even though there's all these different ones, those are just so, like, as far as like for measurements or little minute differences, but for the most part, like to the naked eye, they are gonna look pretty much the same outside of the lofts. Uh, and then there are some corner rooms that are a little bit set up differently. Um, that goes into the next question. Uh, Paul asks, I understand that some of the room dimensions are approximate. Is there any way to get exact room dimensions for a particular room? Um, for the purposes of this tour, we're gonna tour a H configuration and a loft configuration. If you're looking for something super specific, you can email housing at housing at uart.edu with exactly what you're looking for, and we can see if we can handle it, where we come in and measure it for you. We can't always do that, depending on uh, our time constraints. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, not for specific rooms, uh, but we will try and get as much general information as possible, um, so that you know, you know, we have a lot of custom-made items uh, that parents like to build, or, or you know, other people like to build for their students. Uh, but yeah, we all have that information. Email housing, uh, and what they'll do is they'll probably reach out to us and put you all in contact with us as CRE so that we can try and help with those measurements uh, as best we can. So. All right, does that kind of wrap up the first little yep. group of questions? Okay, so now that we're kind of inside the main area, entry area of Maple East, um, so to right behind, or behind Emily, I guess, behind, in front of me, um, we have the Maple Hill East front desk. Um, this desk will service both East and Maple West. Um, so Maple East and Maple West will get their mail um, in these mailboxes. There's some here and then there's some that we'll walk by in a second. Um, and any packages that East and West residents get will all come to this front desk, so not the south front desk that we entered first. Um, and then a cool feature about Maple East is that we have this little parlor area. Um, so there's a fireplace, which is super cool. And then again, lots of seating, there's a ping pong table. Um, there's a little sunroom over there, um, kind of right out on the edge of the um, courtyard area that we kind of talked about earlier. Um, so it's a great little, you know, quiet study space if you ever want to hang out in there. There's not usually a ton of people down here, but it does get utilized for programming and just kind of general hangout space. So. How much study space does this whole have? Um, so the like maples lot, right? probably have the most study space I think I've ever seen on campus. Um, each floor has about three or four study rooms. Um, which is really convenient. Um, 
If you're looking for somewhere to study in the Maples, there's gonna be a room open somewhere. It may not necessarily be on your floor, but somewhere in the building there will be a study room open for you. All right, let's head this way. Do y'all have anything to add so far? No, I think we're doing <laughs> yeah. okay. an awesome job. Shout out to Paul and Mary for the questions. Okay, so like I said, here are some of the mailboxes. Um, they're pretty similar to the ones that we saw in Maple South. They're just built into the wall. Uh, so this is kind of another little common space, but kind of hidden throughout. There's like a study room right there. Um, there's another study room back there and here and here as well behind me. Um, so these study rooms all have fob access, um, which I don't know if you've seen us kind of fobbing into doors. We'll focus on that when we go to the resident um, portion. But these rooms have fobs, you just fob in, and then you kind of have your own little private study space, which is pretty convenient. So, um, Someone asked if we could please show a two-person room. Two-person room. Let's see, that would be like the showroom? Okay. And then uh, we have concessions. I guess we'll just mention that we have concessions. Next one, Next one for concessions. Okay. Okay. Um, so another cool thing about Maple East is they have some classrooms um, that kind of hang out throughout the hallways. You'll see them as we walk through. Um, but those classes will be used for smaller classes like university perspectives. I've personally had a class in here, so it's a very good chance that you could have a class in here as well. Um, and then kind of in this little area, we have an ice machine, and then there's a soda vending machine and a snack vending machine. Um, so if you're ever looking for like a late night snack or something like that, um, that can be found there. And all of our um, vending machines take credit cards as well as cash, so that's super convenient because I know not everyone carries cash, so it's always nice to be able to use your card. And wireless, um, too. I think they yes. need wireless. All right. Um, like I said, there's another one of the classrooms that we kind of talked about a second ago. Um, and then there's another one here as well. Um, someone asked, is there an ice machine on each floor? Yeah. No. no. Not on every floor. They are all down, for each, they are all down in that first floor. Uh, common space we just showed. All right, so we kind of briefly um, covered fob access earlier. Um, so every door that leads up to a resident room has a um, fob entry. So you get this kind of thing on your keys. Um, you just hold it up, it scans, and then the door opens. Okay. Uh, so now that we're kind of in the main space, um, every floor in the Maples has like a main lounge area, which is super nice. Um, specifically within Maple East, um, the first floor does have an oven, which is pretty cool. Um, it's available for students to use. And then there's a convection oven, um, a sink, and then a pool table. Um, generally, it's just kind of another little hangout space. Um, pretty convenient for the maples, so. Um, another cool feature that all of the residence halls have, um, or most of them anyway, are these water bottle filler stations. Um, I believe there is at least one on the first floor of every maple. Um, so you just kind of stick your water bottle under there and refill it. Um, so that's another convenient feature that the maple oh, has. It's called a standy uppy thing. Yeah. <laughs> the standy uh, uppy someone thing. asked, will they be allowing pot and pan checkout from the front desk this year? Yes. As of right, as of right Turn now. Turn to yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. So pots, pans, forks, hogs, tools, things like that. Absolutely. If you know how to cook, we got you. If you're trying to learn like I did in college, we got you there too. Some of these people may have already seen this room because yeah. it's on the tour. Oh, yeah, it is all room too. All right. So with that, um, we'll this show you our double. first little showroom. Um, this is a double room. So someone asked if we'll be showing a room for just two residents. This is kind of what that looks like. Um, so you walk in, there's a sink, counter, um, drawers, cabinets. And then if you come in here, um, here's the little bathroom area. Um, each maple has its own toilet and shower. Um, very, very nice. Um, private bathroom is definitely one of the biggest draws for the maples. Um, and then if you come in, all of the um, kind of cherry wood furniture belongs with the room. Um, so the beds, the wardrobes, the desks, um, and then these nightstands that are under the desks, those are all those all come with the room. Anything that is not this cherry wood color is not a part of the room. 
Um, so, with that being said, um, Leslie kind of talked about the beds being able to be lofted. Um, like he said, they're um, fairly easy if you have one other person in a mallet, you just kind of knock these out of place um, and then you can position them as high or as low as you want them. All right. Any All right. So far? No. Well, this was the double room that we were peeking. Oh, um, someone asked, can you show the entry to that room? Is there space to put anything on the wall across from the bathroom? Uh, there yeah. is. So there's a very large wall right across from the bathroom. I'm currently standing in the bathroom. And here's the view from the other side. So. So, yeah, pretty large space to hang stuff right across from the bathroom. Um, that'd be a great place to hang, like, shower counties or anything like that that you may want to hang there. But, yeah. This is very atypical. These rooms are not, yeah. this is not a typical maple room at all. Yeah. So the doubles are pretty rare. Um, like Leslie said, we'll see another one that's more sweet style, um, that's more traditional for the maples where there are four people to a room and they all share one bathroom. So we'll head there now. Uh, we will be getting onto the elevators, so if we lose connection or the internet goes out, please bear with us. Um, Jack asks, or Jackie asks, what are we allowed to use to hang things? Um, so, coming from another college student, um, if you're looking to not get fined, command strips are the best way to go. Um, they typically do a really good job of not leaving any holes or tears in the paint. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want to pay for those charges, so that's the best way in my opinion. Blue tape. Blue, Blue painters tape. tape. Blue painters tape is also good, or I know a lot of people who use like like the tacky Sticky putty. tack? Yeah, sticky yes. tack. Um, that blue um, little tacky stuff does really well. Really good as well for hanging posters and things. All right. So why don't we head down to the laundry, I think? Okay, mm -hmm. yep. This room is pretty similar to the one down the first Yes. Exactly. Also, we just passed by a trash room. Each floor has a trash room where there's a chute that goes to the first floor, um, so you don't have to carry your trash all the way down. That's right. Um, yeah, well, let's go ahead and hit this one first. Okay, first. This is the H. the H configuration, so much more standard as far as the rooms go. Um, all right, 402. If you're room 402 in Middle East, this is your lucky day. Um, someone said on your website it says to use monkey hooks. Monkey hooks are also good. Yeah, well, I, I'm trying to think yes. where on the website it says to use them. It probably says we don't, and you we, get like we're allowed, you're allowed to use them, does it say? So essentially what it is, is like whatever you use, you're responsible for whatever damage it creates. And so that's the same thing with command strips. So like if you use a command strip and you take it off incorrectly in the paint chips, like you're still responsible for that. Um, kind of had this conversation recently. Mm -hmm. So um, it does say like in the walls like this that you can use like monkey hooks um, and thumbtacks, but if you like leave a hole, you're responsible um, for any damage you create. Don't they go into the, they do, but they, it's so small that it's. If you make damage, <laughs> <laughs> you're responsible. That's for the rule it. of thumb. Yes. If you yes. create yes. damage, you have to clean, you have to fix it or pay for it. Yeah. Maddie asks, what room style is this? This is the, the H configuration. We had someone ask us specifically to see an H before we came in, and so that's what we're doing. But this is pretty standard? But also yes, very standard. pretty atypical for most of the rooms in the Maples, All whether right. it's east, west, or south. Uh, most of the rooms will look very, very similar to this. Yeah. Okay. All right, so kind of getting a better shot of this common space. Um, there is a small kind of little living room area where there's a cable connection. You could set up a TV or anything like that. Um, but this is the main common space for the room. Um, and then kind of coming over here is where you have the main um, kind of vanity area. There's a sink, a mirror, and then lots of drawers and cabinets. Um, pretty nice counter space. Um, and then in here is what a typical bathroom would look like. Um, once again, toilet and shower, which is pretty nice. I'll get out of there. Can pull back the um, thing on the shower? Yeah, she can. Oh, um, I got it. You got it? I didn't do it. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties. I didn't do it. <laughs> it's just a tension rod, and so we just have to make sure it there. Yes. The tension is there. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so that's kind of what a little bathroom looks like. It has a little shelf, which is super nice um, for any of your shower belongings. Um, but yeah, pretty nice size bathroom. And then each 
typical maple room will have an A side and a B side, or a B, A, B, and words, mm -hmm. an A room and a B room, and then within each room, there is an A side and a B side. Um, so when you get here, you'll find out which one you're assigned to. Okay. You have anything to say on that? Yes, I am going to re-emphasize this for everybody who is possibly planning to live in the Maples. Yes, as AK said, when you walk in, the outside of the rooms are clearly labeled A and B, and then the room lettering works like the English language from left to right. So the one on the furthest left is A, the bed on the furthest right is B. Please, 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 when you move in, make sure that you look at your key card and look for the big capitalized letter, I mean letter, if it says A, then look for the very small lowercase letter right beside it. If it's AA, you're going to be the most left person in your entire suite. So you'll be in the room to the left, on the bed to the left. We have a lot of students who, you know, they're the second to move in and their roommate moves on to the wrong side. And so they think, oh, it's no big deal. I'll move on to the other side. But in the system, we have you all designated for one side of the room. And so that ends up coming back to bite people typically at the end of the year where we're, you know, assessing charges for a very particular side of the room that's assigned to you. And we just don't, you know, it always happens in the maple. So we want to help you avoid those issues early on by just making sure you double check your key card. And the RAs will go over that with you when you all move in. It's just, a, it's a typical problem that we would like to try and help you all correct from the beginning so that there's no confusion um, at the end of the year. So that's a really big thing. Because everybody know, you know, some people are going to follow the rules and some people are going to wild out. So we want to make sure everybody is, you know, held responsible for what they, what they actually did, not for what somebody else did. So um, We're getting a lot of questions right now. Yeah. Uh, someone said, I emailed the housing department and they said they recommend monkey hooks. But those apparently leave holes in the wall. I mean, again, yeah. you can use them, but if they leave a hole in the wall, that's that's your responsibility to pay for. So just be mindful of that. That's true of anything, is that if it leaves a if it leaves damage, then we're gonna charge you for it. But if it doesn't, then you're fine. Yeah. All right. Um someone asked, can you measure the space between the toilet and the wall? Okay. Measuring tool? Down. I think they mean like. Oh, like this way. This way, like from this part to the door, maybe. Okay, we'll correct this if we're wrong. Oh, maybe they do mean that. That makes more sense. Okay, well that way it's nine and a half inches from the edge of the toilet to the wall, and I'll do it this way as well. And then on this side of the toilet, it's thirty-two and thirteen sixteenths inches. That's very specific. So about thirty-two inches. That's what you're looking at. Um, um, someone asked, does the towel rack above the toilet come off to allow for a shelving unit above the toilet? Um, it does not. So this is permanent and so are all of the towel bars by the shower as well. Yes, there are multiple towel bars. Um, Anna asks, I want to know if there are two sets of drawers or just one. On the... In the bedroom. Okay, so within the bedroom, I'm going to show this. Um, each wardrobe kind of opens up like this, and there's a nightstand in each wardrobe. Um, and this is movable out of the wardrobe. So this is just here for storage right now. Um, but if you want to move it out when you get here, um, pretty easy to do so. And then each um, wardrobe also has a drawer at the bottom as well. Yeah. Um, so there's that drawer. And then there's more of like a nightstand type of drawer that comes under each desk. Um, and it has three drawers as well. And the top one is lockable with like a locker lock. Um, so if you have something that you want to keep private away from your roommates, um, that's definitely something that's available for you. Um, someone asked, what is the distance between the beds? Um, so if the beds are flush with the wall, um, they're 59 inches apart. Uh, someone asked, will the desks fit at the foot of the beds, and will there be room for the armoires still? I mean, I guess you could switch it. So, it's, when you do that configuration, like, the width, like, the width of the bed of the, uh, the desk is, like, a little bit wider than what you may be able to fit at the end. Like, you can still put it there, but, like, the armoires would both need to be stacked alongside this wall side by side, right? 
because the desk is going to come out just as far as this, but the ohm wires are going to be here. And so you may have a little bit of problem when it comes to like trying to sit at the desk and open the ohm wire drawers. It'll be a little bit of a tight fit if you configure it that way. Uh, <clears throat> but one of the options that honestly we see a lot of students do is, you know, if you're not afraid of heights or you know, what have you, a lot of people will loft their bed up to the very highest height, slide their desks underneath their bed, and all it does is that it opens up all of this space, right? So now the desks are both under each bed, and so now you can put whatever you want to by the window, opens up the floor a little bit more. Uh, of course, the arm wires are too tall to fit under the bed, but still uh, sliding the desk under the bed gives you a lot more space. So that is an option, but yeah, you can move the room around you know, as you see fit. It's just, like I said, at the end of the year, uh, or before you move out, should you move out before the end of the year, like the bed, the room needs to be set back up how it was originally set up. Um, and again, that's how we're gonna kind of determine charges that way, so. But your room is your room to do with how you please once you move in. The, the furniture just can't leave the room, so that's all. Um, Anna asks, what is the measurement of the inside of one of the drawer sets? Um, are you, I will do, this one and the one inside the nightstand, because I think they're a little bit different. Um, but all of these drawers should be the same, like, length. Yeah. I believe. Um, so they're about 20 inches long. Um, and 14 inches wide. And so maybe we could get the depth on the bottom one since it's bigger. Um, yeah. Is 10 inches. 10 inches. Um, Maddie asks, are all H layouts the same, even for corner rooms? Um, that sounds like a them question. Are all H layout rooms the same, even the corner rooms? Or are the corner rooms not H layout? So, the corner rooms are a little bit different. Uh, so, like in Maple West, uh, typically it's uh, the rooms that are either end in 40 or I think maybe the one on the first floor is like 39. Those rooms are a little bit different just because of where they are in the building. Uh, and so they are like the, typically the bedrooms are a little bit bigger than this one is. Uh, and typically when you walk in, uh, it's a little bit longer. So uh, it's the layouts are a little bit different. So uh, the ones in the corners of the buildings are, are a little bit of a different type. So they're not set up the way this H one is. Uh, and honestly, when you walk in there, the furniture's not set up the same way either. But if you stay in one of those rooms and you have questions about it, like I said, just email University Housing uh, and we can definitely help you uh, with getting pictures or what have you uh, of some of those spaces. We've done it before because there are so many different types of rooms in the Maples. Like this is the typical room, so probably 85% of our students who stay in the Maples are gonna have a room pretty much just like this one. But there are some students who, you know, your room is doesn't look like this at all. Uh, and so if you are one of those special circumstances, uh, then feel free to reach out and, and we can give you some pictures at least uh, to kind of help you see what those rooms look like. So. And someone asked, do you know how many single rooms with private bathrooms there are? Uh, there are no single rooms uh, in any of the Maples, I, I don't believe. Uh, the only single rooms that we have are uh, in uh, the RA rooms. So if you're a resident assistant, then you have your own room. Yeah. Yeah, so for the most part, everybody, the, the smallest that it gets is a double room for uh, just our regular residential students. Uh, the RAs are the only ones who typically have their own room. And even those are double rooms that have just been converted to singles. Uh, so pretty much all we do is take the, the furniture out, the second set of furniture, so. All right. Um, someone asked, what is the distance between rods on one side of the wardrobe, please? I don't. Well, yeah. So like from rod to rod. Um, oh, I, yeah. Watch I guess. this and let me know if that's kind of what you're looking for. I don't know if. Does anyone have a? Well, I'll these are your papers. I this. I folded it up. <laughs> that's just who I am. All right. Let's try this. Um, where is it? It's 34 inches from rod to rod. All right, um, and Kat asks, what's the measurement of the window to the floor? From the top of the window? Probably from I, the bottom of the window. I don't think I'm that tall. Um, 
Can you get back there? Or we need to flip? Yeah, no, I got it. Um, from the, like, underneath the lip of the window ledge to the floor is 31 inches. Um, someone asked, are bed rails provided for lofted beds so you don't fall out of the bed? Um, so we have this really cool thing called um, fixit.uark.edu. Um, so you can go in there. It's called our like, maintenance request website. If you're concerned about falling off of the bed, if you decide to loft it, um, you can request a bed rail and someone from maintenance will bring it in and put it on for you. Um, you can either do that before you arrive or right after you arrive, go ahead and fill that out and they'll get it in as soon as they can. And at the highest configurations, we, we do we, we require you to have them on the highest configurations, according to our handbook. Didn't know that. Yeah, and we'll provide them for you. You just need to let us know if you need one. These actually have safety uh, stability rails on them. Mm -hmm. So one thing about these stability rails, if you do decide to loft it at the, so right now they're up here because the bed is low, but if you decide to loft it all the way up, then the safety rail would go on the bottom. And mm -hmm. that's easy to move by yourself, same as the bed frame. Um, someone asked, can we get a measurement of the back wall where the front door is? Is it big enough for a futon? Yeah. The back wall where the front door is. So like this big back wall or this, this wall or this wall? Why not both? Okay. Why not both? Yeah. I'll go from door frame to the end of the wall because yeah. that's 72 inches. I'm just going to do all three of them because yeah. um, this long ways is 103 inches. And then that's 69 inches. So this wall is a little bit shorter than that one. All right. Um, Carlson asks, do they sell paint color for wall local to make the repairs? You will not be able to match our paint uh, specifically. <laughs> um, yeah. it, we just have a very unique paint color. Um, it's going to be real difficult to match it. Um, honestly, if you put a hole in the wall, just put it on work order. We're happy to work with y'all. Accidents happen. Um, we'd rather know about issues before the end of the year. Um, the real issues come in when it's the end of the year and we come in to do your checkout and there's three, like, four-inch holes in our wall or something like that. So if accidents happen, talk to us. We're happy to work with y'all. Put in the workout maintenance order, and we'll get it fixed up. As he was saying, average wear and tear is a phrase we have in our uh, handbook that says, we're not going to just charge you willy-nilly for things. So it's going to have to be, you know, it'd be it, usually some intention. Yeah. Usually some intention. Um, Francesca asks, in the loft rooms, is it possible to get the room without the loft furniture? My roommates and I are planning on bringing our own couch. Is that okay? You are more than welcome to bring your own couch, but any furniture that comes with the room has to be left in the room. All right. And someone else asked, if I emailed about an eye style room or my personal room, could they send me a measurement? Um, possibly. Have, yeah, possibly. We've talked about that a little bit. Um, if someone on the staff has time... Um, that might be something that we could do for you, but the, we can't guarantee that that's something that could happen. So there's always a chance you could email at uarchhousing.uark.edu or email housing at uarch.edu, um, and someone would be more than happy to check in on it for you, but it's not a guarantee that it'll happen. We're excited. We have a th a biggest first year class we've ever had, and so it's just a lot of, a lot of people coming in, and so we're just not sure if we have the time to do those uh, details. And someone said, uh, yes, housing emailed back to call the front desk at Maple Hill West for specific measurements. Um, and that is reaching this hall. So you're reaching this hall if you, if you use that method. All right. Any other questions we have today? Um, okay. Someone asked, the stabilizing bar, can it be lowered to be level with the mattress if I loft the bed halfway? No, it cannot be parallel. Um, okay. It fits into the same pins that the mattress is in, so it will never be able to be parallel. Um, so it's always going to be above or below. Um, and someone asked, can the hutch be removed from desk? Um, no, I don't think they're separate pieces. They're attached. So that top little part, um, there's like a, it's like a bulletin board on the back. You can stick pins in it and pictures. And then on top, there's a little shelf. But no, that does not come off of the desk. It has to stay on. It's attached. And someone asked, can you bring your own desk chair? If so, can you take the other chair out and store it? Like we said, you're welcome to bring your own furniture, but any furniture that is in the room when you move in has to remain in the room. You cannot store it other places. 
And before you bring uh, your own furniture, talk to your roommate. If each of y'all are suddenly bringing your own desk chair and your own dresser, you're gonna run out of space very quickly. So before y'all bring anything special, make sure you talk to your roommates just to coordinate that one, or you end up with two TVs, too many fridges, and you have no room to walk anymore. So just make sure you coordinate. Um, someone asked, could we get just a measurement of the living room wall in an I style room? No, we're not going in an I style room today. Um, that's something where you could email housing at uark.edu and see if we could get those measurements. Um, but once again, those are not guaranteed. And it's possible to have you call the front desk uh, if that's the case. Then typically it's going to be someone who's in this room who's going to actually be doing those measurements for you. Um, someone asked, can you measure inside of the vanity drawers? Um, they all appear to be generally the same size. Yeah. So just, or the bottom one looks a little bit deeper, but. And someone asked, how big is the shelf part of the hutch, length and width? That's a good idea. Um, this is 22 inches. And then I feel like that's not even. Yeah, this is like I'm sure that's maybe fine. two or three inches. Um, um, and another cool thing about these hutches that I honestly didn't know until I lived here is that they do have a light underneath. So it comes on if it's plugged in. If oh. it's not, um, but there is a plug in that you can plug into the wall, and then you can use that light. Um, so you don't necessarily <coughs> need a desk lamp, which is kind of convenient. Um, someone asked, with a K floor loft plan, could you fit two wardrobe units and a rented fridge slash microwave unit on the same wall as the door? Uh, we can show you when we get in there. Remind us again in a few minutes when we go to the um, walkthrough. I think we can go ahead and go over, over there now. Over there. Yeah. Let's show laundry though on our way. Yes. But we did have one more question. She okay. said, again, can we see a room with only two? We need measurements. Um, we did well, go a to a room two. with two mm -hmm. at the very beginning. Earlier in the video. Um, so as we're walking down the hallway, something unique about Maples is that each floor has its own laundry space um, or multiple to a floor, which is super nice. So there's one on this end of the floor and one on the other end of the floor. Um, and each one has two washers and two dryers. Um, so that's kind of nice. You don't have to lug your laundry up and downstairs, and then there's like a little folding counter over here. Um, we also have this cool service called Laundry Alert. Um, it's an app that you can download, um, and it'll tell you um, if there's a washer or dryer available, and if you're using that washer, how much time is left on it. Um, so you don't have to run back and forth from your ring to check how much time is left on your washer. And then we also have QR codes that um, we work with kind of this laundry service. Um, where if a laundry is broken or a washer or dryer is broken, you can scan that and fill out a like a maintenance request type thing, and they'll come and fix it. Um, so that's super convenient. Awesome. Uh, Wes asks, do we need to bring our own cables for TVs? Uh, we have the basic cable plug-in, um, but if there's anything special you're looking for, feel free to do so. So okay. HDMI, you want to bring your own HDMI. Yeah, HDMI, and, and then like if you want to set up the TV on a wall that maybe it's not like already set up yeah. for, then then yeah, you may want to be in like a, a cable extension cable yeah. so that you can wrap it around the, the base of the wall um, to put it on maybe the opposite side uh, of the living room or the 
from wherever it's supposed to be. But there's a cable box in each common space, yeah. and then there's also a cable box in each like suite. <laughs> so like in the, in the A room, there's a cable box, and there's the, a cable box again in the B room. And you get HBO, a couple different HBOs. And there's also Cox on campus or Cox Contour. Yeah, so and you can watch, yeah. Cox Contour is one of my favorite features about being on campus. If you're logged into campus Wi-Fi, you can watch it from any device. So I like to log in on my laptop if I'm not in my room. Um, you just select that you go to the University of Arkansas and then you watch live on demand like TV, Cox, whatever, on your laptop. So that's super cool. I use that all phone. the time. Yeah. Or my phone, I have the app on my phone. I use it a lot as well. Um, someone asked, how many residents are typically on each floor? Um, for the Maples, it's around 90. Yeah, so each Maple floor has around 90 people. Okay, and Anna wants to know where the wall outlets are located. Okay. okay. So this is going to be pretty much the same as the other one. It's just it has a loft, right? Yeah. Like otherwise, it's pretty similar. Yeah, so kind of like Christopher said, there's um, a lot of similarities. Again, kind of went right when you walk in. There's a bathroom with a shelf. Yeah, it's the same. Um, Exact same Towers, setup. Towers, shower, all of those things. Counters, the drawer measurement should be very close to the same, maybe a couple centimeters off, if any, um, and a sink. And then, again, the room lamp is very much the same. Wardrobe, bed, safety bar. The wardrobes have the nightstands in them. It's from the outlets. Um, yeah, so... There's two outlets right there. Yes. Um, it's kind of hidden right there. There should be one behind the desks, I believe. Right. Um, yeah, so there's two, there's, looks like there's four behind the desk. There's four behind this desk. I can't find any over here. There's none over there? I couldn't see. Could you check maybe? Yeah, I will. <laughs> there's none behind this desk. There's four on this wall, and there should be four on that wall as well. If there's four on that wall. And then out here we have two on this side, and then two on this side. So and then right there. All together, there's twelve in this room. In that room, okay. Um, four on each wall. In our rooms, both of them, or most of them, have the two outlets on both sides of the sink. Um, so you and your roommate can do your hair or whatever at the same time if you need to. Should we head up? Yeah, should we head up to the loft? Let's go. All right. Um, so, again, these lofted spaces are unique to Maples. Um, they're very kind of coveted spaces. Um, but they're pretty cool. The loft is just kind of a common area. It comes with whatever. There's a wall there. <laughs> um, it comes with a couple of pieces of furniture. Once again, any furniture that's in the room is not allowed to be taken out of the room, but you are allowed to bring any extra furniture. But it's just kind of a large common <coughs> area. Um, someone asked, could you measure the wall length from the door to the edge of the wall? It's on. The door? Wait, can you repeat it? I'm not very... Could you measure the wall length from the door to the edge of the wall it's on? In the A room. In the, in the A room? It's an A room. Maybe we'll go back there in a second. Right now we'll just yeah. we'll do questions if you're oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you have any questions about the lofted space, uh, leave, leave your questions and we'll answer them. Why don't you give a 360 real quick? All right. We all shuffled while you were. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see, we're pretty um, good at In the lofts, too, so <coughs> downstairs there's a cable box in each room, and then there's a cable lock, um, box up here as well in the lofts. All right. Well, we don't have any questions right now, so. Well, we'll head downstairs and look at one of the rooms, I guess. That was the question was about the door in the room. Does the loft come with a TV stand? Mm, it comes with a coffee table that you could use. Yeah. And there's an end table as well. Okay. So a coffee table and an end table. And a couch. Okay, in the A room, from the door to Oh, she corrected. She said, sorry, that question was confusing. Like from the door frame 
to the rest of the wall. How much wall space do you have without the door? So like this. Probably this. Are, are you talking about measuring this part? It's going to give that measurement. I hope it doesn't hit the... Um, I think she wants it from here without the door. Gotcha. Like right there from the lip? Yeah. Oh yeah, she said yes, that part. And then someone asked, sorry, I was early with question. Can you fit two wardrobe units and a rented microwave fridge on the same wall as the door in this bedroom? In this it's gonna bedroom? Be close. It's possible, but it's gonna be close. In um, this bedroom? Right yes. Okay, yeah, put yes. In, the in this bedroom, room. it's gonna be close. It's possible. Um, I don't know exactly, but... Yeah. Worth a shot once you get in here. Yeah. Your brain um, might be sideways. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Brooke asked, was the measurement between beds 59 inches? Um, that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 59 inches. Um, Kaylee asked, how tall are the beds lofted right now? Um, you can just measure it from the top of the... Um, so right now, from the top of the frame, so not including the mattress, from the top of the frame to the floor is 17 inches. And if you want to know all the configurations that the Maples beds will loft in, go to movein.uark.edu. About halfway down the page, you'll see ready to arrive. Click on that, and then on that page, you'll see like lofting information and mattress information. Uh, those two areas will tell you every three inches from the lowest to the highest that you can, you can loft them here. Um, someone asked, how wide are the arm armoires? Mm -hmm. yeah, I can put my handy dandy piece of paper. I can just put my oh, hand here. That also works. Let me find your hand. 35 inches. So it might be a couple centimeters smaller than that for the inside, um, but there is like a divider in the middle, so I wouldn't be able to give you the exact measurement of that, but around 35 inches. Do the bedroom doors lock? Yes, so one thing about the maples, each bedroom door has its own, so you'll get a room key, which is like, it'll open the main door out there, and then you'll get a suite key that'll open your specific side, whether you're on A or B. All right, well, we're caught up. Uh, do you have anything to say to the incoming first year students or any advice to give them? Um, my biggest advice is, um, I know you probably have been buying stuff for your dorm this whole summer because it's so exciting, um, but kind of just wait and see until you get in your room kind of what all you need and what all you want to decorate your room with because you'll find that probably a lot of the stuff that you've bought, um, you know, you, know, you may not want anymore or it may not work out with the room that you get. Um, so just kind of hold off on trying to decorate until you get here. It's much more fun to know what your space looks like and then try to decorate it rather than buying all the decorations and then trying to make them fit in your room. Um, that's something I wish I had done freshman year. So that's my biggest piece of advice. But Well, we got a few more questions in. Okay. Um, Kaylee asked, how do you send in a request to loft the bed before arrival? Yeah. So you just go to the maintenance website. So uh, I know that uh, AK mentioned that earlier, and it's just fix it. So f i x i t dot u r dot e d u, uh, and so you'll just go there, fill in the maintenance request. Uh, you'll tell them what hall, what building, uh, well, same, uh, what room number, and what bed space. Uh, so again, whether it's A A or A B uh, or B A B B or what have you, and uh, you'll just kind of tell them, give them a description of what you're needing needing them to do for you. And a really fast way to find the form is just to go type into Google U A R K, and then fix it. Yeah, and okay. it'll lead you right there. Yeah, Google 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 knows what we want now. <laughs> you know, it's it's had a few requests. So um, we have a couple of questions about the wardrobe. Okay. Could we get the height of it and the height of the the distance between the top, the top of it of and the yeah, ceiling? Perhaps um, I'm kind of short, so we'll see if this works. We have tall people. Um, that says 82 inches. I'll let you do the top though. Top to the ceiling. Work. Yeah, yeah. Sit on top. yeah. Just make sure the laser. Uh, other yeah, way. Upside, yeah. upside, upside down. down. Yep. yep. Massachusetts. <laughs> you gotta click the. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
25 inches, 25 and 7 eighths inches. All right. Um, if we need big items shipped to the dorm, can we? You can. Um, I personally have shipped a desk here. Um, I would recommend not doing it at the very beginning of the year. Um, during the beginning of the year, we're going to get a few thousand packages in Naples alone. Um, so I think each semester we're getting about 48,000 packages to campus. So um, oh, wow. I would stagger it a little bit if you're going to order those big things. All right. And Donna asks, how do you get your mailing address? So oh, no, you go. Uh, if you go to uh, York Housing, you'll click on halls. You're going to see a checklist of all the different halls. Let's go click on yours. Um, for Maple Hill East and West, it is 1261 Cleveland Street, Fayetteville, Arkansas. 72701. 72701. 6972 North Hall Avenue for Maple South. And Maddie asks or says, the one you showed doesn't look like the blueprint online. For which hall? For which room setup? I'm not sure. She didn't specify, but please specify. Maybe it's um, something that you can just email the um, housing email or contact your individual CRE and we can kind of figure that one out. If it's the H room, uh, the blueprint can just kind of flip depending on which side of the building it's on in the orientation. So it may not line up perfectly right with the orientation. Yeah, she's talking about the H suite. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're caught up. What do you have to say to the incoming <laughs> first year students in the community that first is coming off, in? First uh, off, listen, we're super excited to, to welcome you all. Uh, for your freshman year. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time, a time full of growth. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to have some huge successes. Just know that we're going to be here for you and with you uh, throughout the process. And as much time as you all are spent over the summer preparing for uh, beautifying your rooms and getting them all ready and setting them up just how you want, uh, we really want you to spend a lot of time outside your room, getting to know other residents, getting to know uh, people across campus because that's what the whole experience is about is um, you know getting to know people and when you come back to your room it should be after a full day of memorable experiences that you've had so um, again make your room make it like home uh, but get outside of your room it's so easy to do that in a sweet style where you don't necessarily have to meet people because everything you need is in your room so we just encourage you to get out there meet new people, know your RA, get to know us, the CREs, uh, and just get to know people across campus because uh, it's a beautiful time. You only get one freshman year and you want to do uh, the maximum with it. Uh, so yeah, that's my advice. Um, we got one more question. Uh, can doors be decorated outside rooms using 3M hooks, yeah. removable? Yeah, so um, one of my favorite things, uh, especially a lot of the RAs that you'll see, um, we get lots of door decks and we collect them as we kind of progress as RA. So all the RA stores will be decorated with their door decks. We use blue tape. Blue tape sticks really well to the doors, but also those command strips. Um, I have like the little iconic friends frame that Monica has in her apartment. I hang that outside my door and I use those um, command strips or 3M hooks as well. Um, so those work really well on the doors as long as you remove them properly when you're done with them. Also with the doors, uh, just do like fire regulations, everything. Mm -hmm. No more than 50% of your door can be covered. And your people can't be covered. It's yeah. against federal law. Yeah, They're so those are all things that, unfortunately, uh, we see a lot around sorority recruitment time as well. They're gonna, mm -hmm. uh, maybe your bigs will decorate your door. Um, if it is more than 50%, we do need to have y'all take it down. We'll do a little door knock and we'll say, hey, um, and we'll give a quick reminder, hey, we just gotta make sure we're then fire code. Yeah. Um, so no more than 50% of your door. Yeah. Well, now if that's, whatever angle percentage you want cool yeah. um there's no more like bottom half top half or whatever so yeah. no more than 50 percent of the door yeah but you'll also see like lots of people hang like you know so-and-so's room or welcome to 402 or whatever so like those signs yeah. are very common right. you'll see lots of those or like lots of people put whiteboards on their doors so people can leave them messages um those are all fun things that people do so most most certainly you can decorate your door and everything has to be on the door you can't put anything on the walls next to your door yes. that's a stick to okay. your particular door and someone asked, are there like floor themes or events? Oh, for four, floor themes and events, um, we're going to have events at like pretty much, it seems like every week is going to be something going on on your floor in Maples, at least every two weeks. Um, we have individual floor events. That's kind of a requirement for our RAs is to do those regular programs. Um, and if you ever want to see a program or an event, talk to your RA and they're going to do it. Like they're going to make sure it happens. We're going to help you have, have it, make it happen. Uh, there's an organization called Lee Hogs. Um, which is like a leadership development group within our within the university. 
or also we're going to give you a budget of $42,000 across campus to do whatever you want and have fun and contribute to the hall. They plan a lot of really great events and they get involved that way. And for floor, like individual floor themes, if you all want to do a floor theme, talk to your RA. Some of them have come in with some great ideas of what they want to do, but we want to get our residents involved in those floor themes. We have whiteboards for y'all to decorate, common spaces for y'all to decorate. Make it fun, make it happen, and whatever y'all want to do, we want to empower y'all to get it done. All right, and then someone asked, I have an ESA dog coming with me. Can she walk around the dorm with me to common spaces and study areas or to the events? Uh, as long as they're with you um, and serving a function, absolutely. Um, ESA? Yeah. Um, ESA is, yeah, you have emotional support animals for those you don't know. Um, but terminology, um, they can't just be left unescorted roaming around. Um, but yeah, we're absolutely encouraging. Everyone loves them. Um, just make sure before you arrive on campus that it is registered and approved with housing ahead of time. If it is not already approved, you cannot approve it the day you move in and it will not be allowed in the space. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I think the registration process goes through the Center, Center for Educational, Educational Access. Uh, so that's where you would go to register your emotional support animals or your service animals. Um, and then and once so, it's approved through yeah. the CEA, then they will ask housing for approval and you'll have to go through the housing approval yeah. process and then it'll be granted um, permission to live in the space with you. And that is emotional support animals. Any service animals are absolutely allowed. Yes. All right. Well, yeah. 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 I, I just wanted to tag yeah. on to Leslie's um, get involved yeah. speech. Um, if you haven't yet already, you can go to pickone.uark.edu and there's tons of different initiatives that um, you as a first year student can get involved in. Um, so highly recommend just going, it's pickone.uark.edu. You can read through all of them and pick which one you want to do. Thanks right. y'all, we're super excited to see you. All right, well, we'll see y'all in the fall.